where are we at with this uh, this stretch you guys have gone through? You guys have had some struggles, but the schedule looks like it's lightening up a little bit here as you get to this week. Yeah, I think it's been a, a, a terrific ride for us. I think we've played at a, at a pretty high level, and uh, it was a good experience for us to go through against the Clippers the other night. And, and um, you know, didn't feel like we played great, and I, I know our guys are disappointed. Everybody knows, you know, what's at stake. So, um, you know, try to regroup a little bit. I think, you know, we gave them yesterday off and just said, hey, it's been a pretty tough stretch. And and uh, just to, you know, acknowledge that, that we've played hard, we've been right there uh, with good teams and uh, just, you know, didn't get the result we were hoping for in, any, in, in a lot of them. But uh, very proud of our group. And now, like, take a breath and uh, let's go forward. And the only one that matters is the one in front of us. Do you feel like the guys are getting caught up a little bit in the chase and maybe a little over anxious? No, I, I don't think. I mean, that's probably, you know, the biggest game we've had in the last two and a half years here. Uh, against Clippers, and you know we just didn't uh, didn't play real well. How beneficial can even one day of that deep press help the psyche? Yeah, I, mean, I think it's positive. I mean, guys are guys are uh, spirits are up, and uh, I'm not going to let them get down. And uh, you know we have too much youth and, and too many good dudes and high character people to uh, you know let one loss get us down. Coach, you talked a couple weeks ago about the acclimation kind of being an ongoing process with the new players and everything. You feel like you're where you want to be in terms of making progress down that road? Uh, it always it's always changing. You know, about the time you start thinking, okay, this is what it's going to look like. You know, then Marvin went down, and so um, he's still moving guys around. But I, you know, every day that's why I try to play. I mean, I don't sit here and go two hours of scrimmage, but uh, especially after day off, we did go live a little bit today, and uh, you know, for timing and for repetitions for you know our our, our new guys certainly, but everybody needs that stuff. What's the process like for Marvin in terms of his day-to-day -day comeback? Is it, is it just more of a rehab thing right now, or does he do any basketball activities at all? That's a good question. No basketball. <laughs> yeah, no basketball. What they do in there with him, uh, it's a, above my uh, IQ. You know, injuries never, you know, you can't predict them. They don't come at a good time. But, you know, for him, it seems like the two that he's had, and obviously it's been the same knee, he's really kind of hitting his stride, and then he ha gets that setback out. Frustrated are even for someone for you, how frustrated are you even for him just because of those strides he had made? Yeah, it stinks for him. You know, he's he's coming along and getting those experience, and uh, your first year is always difficult. And uh, yeah, I know he's learned a lot. I think he's come a long way. He continues to improve and just get out there and show his talent. And uh, he's been terrific. And you know, it's a it's an unfortunate deal. What, what do you see in uh, your next opponent? The next I know a team that's had some real big struggles, but is. Uh, we've won a couple of games recently. It's looked, looked a little bit better. What do you what do you see in the next? Uh, I see that I'm going to go home and watch them in the scouting report. Uh, tonight, today was just mostly about working on us and, and uh, our psyche and our, our execution and uh, cleaning a couple of things up. And um, get, we'll get specific about them uh, tomorrow. In terms of the cleanup for yourself, uh, is there anything specific that you're really hammering on or is it a myriad of things for you right now? No, I think, you know, it's just part of the growth of a young team. You go through stuff, um, you know, when they get tense, uh, they get tight, the, we still we start to over dribble. And uh, we got to continue to keep moving the basketball and, and trust that the clock is longer than you think it is and, and uh, try to be able to attack people where, you know, when you play with the pass, uh, you know, you only need one guy to screw up. If you play with the dribble, you know, four guys got to fall down for you to, you know, it to be successful all the time. When we saw the different matchup, we, you know, we talked about those second chance opportunities. Some, that's obviously an area that Marvin helps out a lot for you guys. Do you have, I don't know, do you have to adjust when he's not there? Do you guys have guys that can kind of bring that same type of fire? Yeah, I mean, certainly. I mean, it's a, it's a team deal. I mean, you know, I think we're 18th in the NBA right now uh, defensively. Uh, we're dead last in defensive rebounding, and and that's not a big issue. That's not a smallest issue. That's everybody's issue. And, and you're playing games, and, and this is where the learning curve happens of, of experiences. You know, the Clippers get two offensive rebounds on free throws. You know, they, that just can't happen. And that's uh, those are things that have to, you know, continue to be like, man, that can't happen. I can't, I can't let this ever happen again. And that's you know, unfortunately, sometimes how you learn. I know you said you're focusing just on the next game, just on the next game. Did you ever have to take a step back though, look at the bigger picture? Yeah, always. Yeah, I mean, you know, we talked about it this morning. We're, we're in a playoff race, but you're also thinking about, you know, what does it look like as guys grow up and, and are continuing to improve in different areas and, and you're always putting stuff in your box for next year or for this summer or, you know, summer projects that we can work on and uh, try to give them the best chance to be successful uh, in the long term. But right now I can't I can't put in some of that stuff because I don't I don't think it's uh, applicable while you're in a playoff race, you know.